Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at Disneyland on a very windy, blustery day, but a beautiful day nonetheless. It is February 17th, 2022, and the mask mandate at Disneyland and Walt Disney World has been lifted. And we are here to cover it and show you guys what's going on and how it feels. Yeah, like Spencer said, the mandate has been lifted for indoor locations for vaccinated individuals. If you still feel comfortable wearing a mask, you definitely can do that Absolutely. still. Absolutely. Um, but if you are vaccinated and you choose not to wear one indoors, you can do that today. Yeah. Now, the reason we're kind of celebrating is because it's a step towards normalcy and just feeling like it did prior to the pandemic. So we're yeah. pretty excited about it being vaccinated ourselves. Um, we're just excited. So we're gonna share with you the vibes, what's changed, what it's like today, despite the crazy wind. Yeah. Um, we're gonna share it all with you and you know document this kind of historic day because again, every good thing is a step towards getting back to normal. I also wanna mention that there's still requirements on transportation. Like if yes. you're taking the bus over from Toy Story, uh, medical, as well as any, uh, I think the monorail when that's going. Yeah, and um, like if you're at Walt Disney World, it would be the Skyliner yeah. and um, anything indoor transportation like that. Yeah, we just wanted to make that clear. Uh, but we're also going to enjoy the heck out of this day. It is really, uh, I know we said it's windy, but it's beautiful out, clear skies. Uh, it's one of those magical Disney days for a lot of reasons. So let's not waste any more time and enjoy this historic day at Disneyland. <laughs> the Straw Hatters back here at Disneyland that in the morning. Was, what, a, what a treat and a welcome wagon. Love those guys. Oh, it just feels so good. It does, um, and, and we love uh, the horticulture here. Look at this, they, they planted new tulips. There's a few of them starting to pop. Yeah, they planted them overnight. We actually got to see and meet some of the horticulture team this morning yeah. um, as they were kind of like finishing up because they're here until about 9.30. Uh, so it was really cool to see that, and it's just awesome. We just love their work, especially in the springtime. Yeah, because usually they work a lot of overnights, and we come in and see their amazing work, but we've never gotten to actually say, hey, you guys do an amazing job, yeah. thank you, and yeah. uh, what a treat that was. Yeah. Okay, we just rolled up to the Carnation Cafe, one of our favorite breakfast spots. Katie ran inside to see if she can get us a walk-up reservation because there's times when that can happen, and we've told you guys that. Um, if you can't get one online, just try the walk up and see, especially if you get here early in and around the rope drop time. And we don't have to wear masks going in there, or we don't have to wear masks at our table when we're not eating or drinking. Part of the, uh, the gloriousness of this day that we're gonna experience, so hopefully we can get a res. She's in there right now. Let's go see if, uh, see if she got a walk up. Fingers crossed. All right, let's see. Were, you, were we able to get a, a walk-up? No yeah. way. Yeah, there's a lot of walk-ups yes. available, so that's exciting. Oh my gosh, I was telling everybody that if you get here early enough, there's a distinct possibility that you could get a walk-up. Uh, and you know, you may have to wait. Uh, what, how long do we have to wait? Uh, it says 15 minutes, and that was a couple minutes ago. That's nothing. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, and look at this. You get to sit next to Walt. One of my favorite pictures. Look at me and Walt hanging out. We're just obsessed with you, Walt. And then you get to look out this awesome window, and I love watching all of the Main Street vehicles and the horse trolley go by. Steve just went by on the fire truck a little while ago. Oh, it's just so cool. It just feels a lot less stressful that we don't have to, like, you know, don the mask. Well, it was and, always tough for know. me walking in and holding a camera and having to stop and find my mask, and, yeah. and then, you know, we're missing the moment, and uh, mm -hmm. anyways. And I think the other thing that really is good that came out of this is that cast members are not having to constantly remind people all the time, and, you know, it kind of creates conflict for them because, again, I don't I don't think they get paid enough to deal with that, to no. be honest with you, because people get so angry. Yeah, we, it we, had, fair. <laughs> we had heard stories of, you know, people being rude to them for just doing their jobs, and they, they you know, it's not their fault, and they so have to do... So that's one good thing that comes out of it, and then the plus side, they're still able to wear their masks, their eye goggles, like whatever it is that yeah. uh, helps them. So it's kind of a win-win for them, and that's all we care about. We love our cast members. 
Carnation Cafe. Carnation Cafe. By the way, we decided because apparently it's not a crazy crowded day. Yeah. When we got in, there was an individual a la carte lightning lanes available for Rise of the Resistance. Yes. So we decided to book it, especially on a day when we don't have to wear masks. We kind of want to just get that OG vibe again. Yeah, back. we haven't done Rise without a mask in since... It's been a while, but today's got a really good vibe in the park. I want to feel that wind when when that ship crashes in uh, where Kylo is. Oh, you want to feel, I want to feel that wind on my face. Another thing we have to do is go on Pirates because I feel, again, we could still smell the, the water when we had our masks on, right. but I think it's a whole different level. I want to inhale it. I want it to become... What I'm tasting, smelling, all this. <laughs> Sorry. I want to make a shirt that says, "I want to inhale pirate water." Right. Like, I feel like that'll be taken a little wrong, but like, yeah, I want to wear, you know, you know. I want to wear a gas mask that's hooked up to uh, pirate smell and just yeah. like, yeah. Some people know what that actual scent is. I don't know what it is. All right, the food has arrived. Katie, I didn't realize that you got... Uh, Mickey Waffies? Mini Mickey Waffles. Mickey Waffies. Oh, Waffies, okay. Waffies. So that's a kid's meal, right? We only eat Waffies. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a kid's meal, because uh, I didn't, you know, obviously need a giant no. massive breakfast, just like, a little bit. It looks like it's enough food. I mean, there's just enough of everything it's there. It's perfect. Honestly, it's recommended for kids like eight and under, I think it is. Right. But, uh, you know, when they'll accommodate you if you really just can't eat that much, and it suits you. Um, and you're a so. kid at heart, so it works for you. Yeah, there's, Mickey there's waffles for me. Waffles, there's fruit. There's potatoes. There's ketchup and, that's gonna get chucked over. No, just kidding. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna take that. But I like how the ketchup and the syrup was configured by the potatoes to make a Mickey. It was, yeah. I, I, I was looking at that too. Look yeah, that. it's pretty cool. Aha! Yeah. Nothing can stop your breakfast now. Oh, I see what you did there. I'll tell you how. There you gonna go. Gonna make you hungry. The runaway Katie, as we call her. Gonna be a runaway Katie. These are gonna be runaway uh, Mickey Waffies in a minute here. And I got the breakfast sandwich because I wanted just eggs and potatoes and bacon, um, and this is the best way to get it. There's also a skillet that they have with uh, Mickey-shaped eggs. I've had that before, but I, I wanted to get the breakfast sandwich, and it's like, it looks like it's like about three eggs. It's a hearty portion, so. What, I'm telling you, what is it about Mickey-shaped fare that just makes us excited? Oh yeah, I could have Mickey-shaped dirt, and I'd be like, oh, this is so good. Just give me, some, give me some syrup for that dirt. So I'm basically deconstructing my sandwich and just eating it um, as if it were just bacon and eggs. Uh, Sans the bread. I might have a bite of the bread, but uh, yeah, that's, that's how I'm doing it. These are the ones you dunk. Mm. Alright, we're leaving uh, Carnation Cafe. That was an amazing breakfast, and look who we ran into. Liz! Hi! We're dueling. Right, guys. They just did yeah. a trade off. We just did a trade off. Yeah. He like my white and I took his red. I think that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, Sleeping Beauty's Castle, Matterhorn, and the Omnibus. That wacky, goofy, cool Omnibus. There it goes. This is the scene today. Over here we have Frontierland and. Katie. Hello, Katie. I think we should go on Pirates. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I am ready to... It's gonna sound weird, but I am ready to smell some pirate water. Yeah, let's go inhale it. Yeah. And another big thank you to Liz from Fresh Bake for trading me the white frames. I I just prefer them. I didn't know they were gonna even have them, and I saw that people had them. I was like, well, what, why, why, why didn't I get the option to get white frames? Thanks to my friend Liz, I now have them. And she wanted the red, so it was kind of perfect, right? I still need to go get mine. I know, I wonder what color you're going to get. I feel like red. I, I mean, feel like I've seen more red than I have white. Yeah, I feel like the white were in limited quantity. I don't know. I think you would look good in red. I think that's more your color. <laughs> Just saying. Well, we'll find out. So this is a perfect example why it's nice to not have to wear a mask like if you're vaccinated, because look at this. We can do the uh, Adventureland cut, the bizarre so cut. Kind of like this. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna wander in the store. I don't have to stop and. Oh, there it is. There it is. 
Orangeburg. Oh, Orangeburg? Wait, what? What are you doing here? Are you telling me that we need to go to what's that? You need to go to Walt Disney World? So, well, funny thing you say that because we are going to Walt Disney World soon. Oh, I need an orange bird. I, I get it, I know. I'll see you at Sunshine Tree Terrace. I think that's what it's called. That is. Okay, good. Bye, buddy. A whole basket of birds. Okay, this is crazy because just the other night. We were playing this insert clip. <laughs> There it is. We were all at uh, Dave, and Buster's. Dave and Buster's, and they had a like a life-size version of this, uh, as you can see there in the video. And ironically, there is a Jungle Cruise version. That wait, I've never seen this before. I've never seen it either. Join the feeding frenzy. So you're basically release the coconuts. Oh, that's classic. And then make your animal chomp, and then gobble the most coconuts to win. And it is thirty nine ninety nine. Wow. That is amazing. Is that a basket of Simbas? Oh my gosh, look at him. He does it. Put him on your little bag. Oh, he's, oh, he's so a clip cute. one. Like his hands clip on. Look how cute he is. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Masimba. <laughs> Stitch, wild at heart. I haven't seen that one. It's an interesting color. Yeah, I like it. So we were going to go to Pirates, but then we realized um, our lightning lane time is up, so we might as well go do that before it breaks down. All right, that's a good idea. The likelihood of Rise of the Resistance breaking down is extremely high. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. So we're going to do that, then go to Pirates. And just so you get a gauge on the day, uh, Indiana Jones standby is 45 minutes right now. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. As we make the transition to the Black Spire outpost to rise the resistance. Okay, we've arrived at the lightning lane. It's so weird, I just went to reach for a mask. I had that like feeling that I've, it's just been kind of programmed in me and I was like, I had like a flinch moment. Right, right. That was wild. Something else we noticed when we purchased lightning lane today, um, cause you can do rise of the resistance like a la carte, you don't need to hold, do the whole genie situation. That's the only way to do rise if you want to buy it, yeah. Right, well, I, I, I didn't realize, but I could have sworn we were able to book it without actually being scanned in the park. I don't know if it's always been like that. Do you know? If you do, comment below. Uh, did this change? I don't know. So That you have to be in the park, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, which is cool. I think it's it's better because I noticed it would sell out a lot. So Well, that's how the old you know. boarding groups used to be. Right. It was like you... you uh, you didn't have to be in the park, but I think like at like 7 a.m. or something, you were able to, to book it, so. Oh, I thought it was the opposite for the boarding group. No, you didn't have to be scanned in. It was uh. the second time, like it was at like 12 o'clock, you had to be scanned in the park. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, but I could have sworn when it first launched, you didn't have to be scanned in yet. So that's why I'm asking, does anybody know? If you do, comment below. It's cool being on this side of the queue and getting to see this side of the waterfall instead of the back side of water <laughs> when you're in the standby queue. All right, we're going inside. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Shouldn't you be in flight prep? Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Transport is ready. Nine Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Stand clear. Unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? <laughs> there appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We have company. First order TIE fighters. We run.
The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. For your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Feeling the wind and the, the explosions with the air blast and all that. Oh, yeah. that was so cool. It makes all the difference. We rose to the occasion on rise of the resistance. All right, look at the line has now reached the train tracks on the edge of Critter Country. It's filling up. So really, when you think about it, that was worth it to spend the extra money in our eyes to, to get on rise uh, without the mask and not have to wait, you know, probably 120, somewhere uh, in that range for standby. I'm just guessing because the line is now to the train tracks. Uh, but man, that was fun. I'm, I'm telling you, feeling the wind on your face, uh, feeling the explosions, uh, you know, that they, they kind of put fans in there to make it feel like the, the air blast from the explosion, all of that stuff is, uh, that's the tactile experience, like I was saying, that, that is, it's part of it, you know, and you feel more immersed. Um, I don't know. I enjoyed the heck out of it, I'll tell you that. All right, we've come to my favorite attraction, my favorite indoor attraction as well. 35 minutes it says. I think it's going to be less. Let's see how long this takes. I think it's going to be more. All right, boom, it's on. Okay. So we had the idea to do pirates, but if you look across, it is so long. And I think it's because people can go smell the pirate water. Look how long it is. It's quite possible. Yeah, it's pretty much to the popcorn cart and doubling back. That's going to be me if I lose this bet. Easy, big fella. Well, looky here. We're almost there, and it's 17:55. That 35-minute standby uh, projection was completely wrong. We're going to be in there. I didn't see that happening. We'll be in there uh, in 20 or less. I am your winner. Hello, my name is Spencer. I have won the bet. Thank you very much. And we did not have to put on a mask. Oh yeah. Your cadaverous power betrays an aura of foreboding. Is this haunted room actually stretching? <laughs> so good. That was good. 
I can smell the, the mustiness of the moldering sanctum like I used to as a young child enjoying the most happiest haunts there ever was. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just excited. It's been a great day so far. It has been. We, um, we chose this over Pirates, like we said, because of the, the wait time. And uh, I was right about the uh, prediction. That was uh, 20 minutes as opposed to 35. And if, it, and if it, yeah. had it said 20, you probably would have said, oh, okay, I'll do it, right? Yeah. There you go. And I'm sure glad we did because the line now is almost to the popcorn cart. All right, walking into Candy Palace, sans mask. It's just weird. It's like I have this flinch, like, Ooh, uh, oh, wait, no, I'm okay. Everything's fine. I think the biggest winner in here is the lemon burst cookies. Oh, man. I'm like very tempted to get a pack right now. Walk away, Katie. Walk away. They are really good. Walk away. I didn't say... Okay, I guess that's my fault. I didn't say walk away without one. See? Should have known I was going to take you serious. I didn't say Simon Says, yeah. We're getting it. All right. Okay, so we got the lemon cookies, but we were talking and we're like, what would go well with these cookies? And we decided a Dole Whip would be perfect. A Dole Whip? I mean, am I right? Or you are absolutely right. And I said to you a couple of weeks ago, you got to start doing some of the old Katie food hacks because yeah. you, were, you were always really making good at the, those. Making the combinations that count. Right. It's and really what it is. We'll call it a food hack, but really it's a, a combination of foods that taste well, good yeah. together. Creative concoctions from Katie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I should bring my Chef Remy hat. You really should. All right, let's head over and let's get, go get, get it. the Dole Whip. Let's do it. All right, we made it to the Enchanted Tiki Room where we're gonna pick up our mobile order of our pineapple Dole Whip to mix with our lemon burst cookies. Katie's getting in line. Let's do this. All right, acquired. We're gonna head over to the uh, hideaway, see if we can find a spot. Oh, sweet, our table, our favorite table. Right here. All right, there it is. Katie's making it happen. Oh yeah. What are we gonna call this? The lemon burst Dole Whip? You just don't know deliciousness until you open oh, a bag of these. They are just pillowy soft. They're not too tart, not too sweet, but like... Here, let's eat one by itself. Cheers. Oh, my mouth is watering right now. Mm. Oh. Why are these so good? Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can already tell you this is gonna be good. All right. Oh yeah. Now this could be an epic Sunday if you were to get a pineapple sphere too. Oh yeah. But, all right, here we go. You know why this is good? Because the Dole Whip is super tart and then the, the cookie is like buttery, but also lemony. Yeah, so good. it just, yeah. dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost want to like mash it up and mix them in like that because oh, it's just that it's, good. Yeah. It's almost like a, like a cookie dough that would be for a Dole Whip. Right. It's like yeah. a Dole Whip cookie dough. Yeah. Let's call it Dole Whip cookie dough. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that is so citrusy on another level. Oh. Okay, now we're trying the um, cookie dough version where we're gonna break it up and kind of yeah. mash it in there. I don't know how well that's gonna work. All right, spoon version. I think that's the call. Yeah. Crumbled up, little bits, you know. Yeah, I even like the look of it like that. Yeah, it looks more pleasing and, yeah. and it just looks right. It tastes better crumbled up. Mm -hmm. The distribution itself is a little more even, right? Yeah. Mmm, that is too good. It's like on Bridesmaids when she says, ooh, that's fresh yeah. like when she drinks the lemonade. Yeah. All right, as we make our way down Main Street, headed out from this really awesome day. We had a lot of fun. It was pretty well-rounded and the mask-free situation feels great. Yeah, and uh, you know, it, it's just nice. It's a step back into more normal and you yeah. know, yeah. it's nice. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's right, we'll see you guys next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye everybody.